I started playing volleyball when I was like, what, 13, 14-ish. Um, from then till I was like 18, I only ever had one other teammate of color and she was mixed. Um, but yeah, I've played on like four or five different teams and I played for like good six years, just never had anybody on the court that looked like me, which was crazy. Um, I lived in the Midwest, so a lot of the tournaments that I went to, even then, like out of like 70 courts, there might be like, I can count on one hand how many black female student athletes there were in there with me. Um, but then coming to college, I had five black teammates, I think it's crazy, awesome, nice. I mean, you guys are probably like, wow, so sad. But it's like, on a roster we only hold, I guess our roster holds like about like 18 to 20. It was just really nice. I could look left to right, and I'm like, oh, people look like me, people act like me, this is great, this is cool. But as for like my experiences with the volleyball team so far here, um, Unlike you guys, since you guys are used to being in like black spaces and stuff, I feel like actually after coming to school, um, I had more black people in classes, you know, like had more black teammates and stuff. So it's like, for me, the diversity was like just now finally like up in the sky, which I thought was great and cool. Within our sport, there are like different people, different cultures. Um, so we have tried to like, I guess, re relate more to other groups. But for the most part, like I feel like our group is a safe space. and. You know, being here probably less time than y'all. Um, it's, it's about building community, finding people that you feel comfortable with. And that's the way that I've gotten through. I feel like every time I've been here, I learned more about Black History Month than what I was learning like when I was back at home. Because when I was back at home, it was a big it was a big part in my city, but it wasn't like a like a major like a major deal. But like more now, like when I'm here. Like it's it's like it's been a big part of my career since I've been here now. Life is not meant for you to do it by yourself. That village, that community, that safe space. Letting you all know like you don't have to do it alone. Cause it improves experiences. What you got, Mr. President? Well, I agree. You, you told me that quote, um, and I'm also a quote person, so I believe in the quote that home is what you make it. And I feel like I've made Louisville home through my administrators, especially Dr. Adora Hicks. Um, she's changed who I am. I've done a complete 180 as a person, as a speaker, as a leader, because I made relationships with her and my other administrators, Justin Ruffin, Marvin, um, my coaches. It's like the people that I surround myself not even just peers, but people that I can learn knowledge from, people that actually care about me. I've taken that and made that my home. Within the cheerleading world, we always, when we see other people, other black cheerleaders being uplifted, we that's something that I love to see. And I feel like that's my way of seeing the representation as I'm able to go see these posts of, oh, there's a black girl flying on such and such team and everyone's just like awning over her. And I'm like, that's how it always should be. I mean, for anybody really, but like just seeing that representation from other teams outside of just being here is what helps me get through. When I started getting offers, started like just being one of the top athletes in my state, when he told me like, then I really look up to you as a black man, cause you open a door, you, you open like the door for me. That really made me like, dang, like I can make a huge impact to somebody in life. It don't matter like, they can be watching on TV. They can be. They can even be reading about you, like or what they like listening. Like you can make a huge impact in anybody's life. And those are the kinds of like relationships I hope we can keep on like building with like the youth back in our communities and around the world. Because it's like yeah, from the jump, a lot of them feel like there's nothing for them in this world because they don't see people that look like them being great. Like I don't know a lot of black doctors. Me either. <laughs> right? Like. Did. Like. <laughs> Happy about sports though, but being happy about who you are and you're black. Mm -hmm. You should be happy that you're black African American. We, we black celebrate every day. Black, black history every day. Every day. I appreciate you all. Continue to be great. Continue to make an impact. Be yourself. Like, I, I tell you all all and the time. Live your best life. And there we go. Live your best black life. <laughs> and black live life. your best. Black life. Live it like it's your last. <laughs> there it is.